Good morning, everybody. Behind me is a 1996 Ford F-150, and it's mine. And it's been somewhat of a dream truck for me since I was a little kid. I've always wanted one, ever since like the, the fourth gen Bigfoot and Monster Jam. My favorite dinky car even as a kid was a Ford F-150. I think it was a 95 though, but I loved that little truck. And here we are now in my uh, adult life and I was able to randomly stumble across one. So I'm really happy about it. And as soon as I had seen it uh, for sale, I knew I had to take it home. So I apologized to the wife and said, tomorrow I'm going to pick up this F-150. In any event, she's home and she's beautiful and she's in really good shape. As you can see, the paint looks great. Uh, it already has a six inch rough country lift. It's got 35 inch mud tires on it and she is just ready to party. So if you know who I am, Chris from Mud Monkey ATVs, that is our main channel. We are a bunch of off-road psychopaths who uh, eat, sleep, and breathe off-road adventure. And this is my personal page. Um, so I think if you do follow the Tilly Blog channel, you are gonna see this truck a lot. Oh, I have a visitor coming down the street here. Mr. Mayor's on his way. Oh. Mr. Mayor, let's try this 96 F-150 nice. out. Feel every, feel every lug though, eh? Yeah, you do. She needs tires. Yeah, those tires are no good. No, no tires are no good. Exactly what that is. But she's a good old girl. Oh, she is. Right? Yeah, it just takes you back to 1996, man. Right. She smells like a 96. She smells like my first girlfriend. Oh, God. wonder how she's doing. <laughs> she's probably not in as good a shape as this is. <laughs> yeah, she's in great shape, eh? Like, oh, yeah. the interior is pretty well, like, mint. Yeah, but, uh, oh, I love that, man. The side yeah, these are great. Baby. Hey, look at that. AC, baby. This thing. Oh, baby. Got the old windows. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love that. Yeah, I know if you turn the AC on that uh, you can watch your gas gauge go down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, she's a unit. Four on the floor. Four on the floor, baby. Bet you there's been a few butts in there. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So the original owner, it was registered to a nursery in uh, in Midland, Ontario, no which way. is pretty cool. Yeah, and they had they had it for I think about twelve years. Um, before it got passed on to a new owner, and then the guy I bought it from had it for eight years. Nice. So she's she's had a few owners, yeah, but okay. uh, it was cool that it was traced back to the original uh, nursery. That's cool, yeah, I think. Absolutely. So they probably had it for bombing around sod or plants or who the heck knows what. But yeah, she's a good unit, ma'am. She's got 224 original kilometers on her. It is the five liter. With the Allison transmission, which I know that that's a great thing, but uh, yeah. she's a unit, man. And Brian and I live out here in uh, in the marsh, all country, so she fits the profile perfectly. She really does. See the interior is in quite good shape. They did put a Kenwood aftermarket uh, stereo system in there, which I'm not mad about. We have the removable console, so it's a full bench seat. The headliner is in great shape, and the seats as well. No tears. That's just a little bit of dirt. No tears, no rips, no stains. Lucky enough to have the vinyl floor which is great. So I'm really happy about this truck. Now we can go ahead and pop the hood. She's got the original uh, five liter from Ford. She's 
She's got the original five liter, she got a new battery in her. You got an aftermarket or a replacement uh, alternator in it. A K&N filter here that uh, that will have to be replaced. But overall, she's in really good shape. A little engine shampoo, and we'll bring her back to life. But she idles good, she's got power, and she seems to be quite healthy.